So then gang, now we've seen the basics of how Vuex works, how we can make a store, add states and mutations, and then access all of this from inside components. And at the minute we do all of this using the options API, which is the slightly older way of working with Vue.js where we define methods and computed values like this as properties on our component object. Now I'd like to show you how to do this using the composition API instead, which doesn't use these properties, but instead uses a setup hook. And then inside that setup hook, we can place all of our reactive values and methods and then return the ones that we need to use in the template at the end of it. Now, again, at this point, I'm assuming you already know a bit about working with Vue this way using the composition API. If not, definitely check out my Vue 3 courses, first of all, because I talk about them extensively in those. The links are going to be down below. Anyway, the way we work with Vuex using the composition API is by using a function new in Vuex version 4 called use store. And this gives us access to the store and the state and mutations on that store. So the first thing we need to do is import that function from the Vuex library. And like I said, this is brand new to Vuex 4. So make sure you have that version installed for this to work. So what I'd like to do then is basically keep all of the same functionality. We're still going to get the points from the store and we're still going to commit this mutation right here, but we're going to do it all inside the setup hook using this function right here, use store. Now, the reason we need this function use store is because we need to use that function to get access to the store itself. Now, before when we use the composition API down here, we could say this dot store, but we don't have access to this inside the setup function. So we can't do that in here. And that's why we use this instead, because this function returns to us the store. So I'm going to say down here, const, and I'll call it store and set it equal to use store like so. And what that does is get us access to the store. So now this is basically the same as this thing right here. And we can use the same different properties and methods on it. So I could grab the points. I could say const points is equal to something. Now it's a computed property, much like we used a computed property down here. So we need to say computed. And also we need to import that from view as well. This is the way we work in the composition API. We import the functions we need. And then inside that computed function, we basically just want to return a value. And the value that we want to return is going to be the store, which we have access to because of this right here, dot state dot points. So it's exactly the same as this down here, the store dot state dot points. Only instead of using this dot dollar sign store, we use this function to get the store and use the properties on this instead. Okay, so now we can return the points down here. So this now is doing exactly the same thing as this. So now we can get rid of this computed property. We don't need that anymore. All right, so next let's do this method. So same again, we just need to create a function. So I'm going to call this update points again, and we set it equal to a function. We're going to take in the points P, call it what you want. I called it points down here, but I'm calling it P up here so as not to get this P confused with the points we have right here. So then inside the function, all we need to do is say store dot commit and then whatever mutation we want to commit, which is update points in our case, and then pass in P as the second argument. That's the payload. All right. And then we can return that down here, update points. We can spell it update points like so. And now this does exactly the same thing as this. We take the store, we commit a mutation and we pass in the payload P. And that's what we did down here. OK, so now we can get rid of this methods thing as well, like so. And now all of this should work exactly the same way. Only now we're using the composition API and doing everything inside the setup hook. So first of all, we get the store using this use store function. Then we create this points computed property, which is accessing the points from the state on the store. And then we create a function called update points. We take in an argument P to be the new points. And then we commit a new mutation on the store called update points and pass in the new value of P. And remember, 
that is this mutation right here, which is updating our state. So now we've returned all these down here, which are still being used up here. So let's save this and give it a whirl. All right, so we can see the state initially is zero for the points. If we add a point, it should go up by one each time, which it does, awesome. And if we click this one, it goes down by a point each time, awesome. So this all works. So it's doing exactly the same thing, only this time we've used the composition API and that use store function from Vuex to interact with the store. And this is only available in Vuex version four because it was made to be used with Vue three, which is heavily involved with the composition API. So make sure you're using Vuex version four in order to use this use store function. Now for the rest of this series, we're going to be using the composition API and using the store this way.